Hits. We'll be looking at critically praised hit shows that were initially rejected by network executives before making it to television. Here are the top 10 rejected shows that became successful. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. 1997 to 2003. Despite its moderate box office success, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, a 1992 comedy horror film, left a sour taste in the lips of critics and audiences alike. Joss Whedon, who created the screenplay, was among them. Whedon was dissatisfied with the picture and was persuaded by one of the producers to turn his original idea into a television show. He shot an unaired pilot and pitched it to networks, but both Fox and NBC execs turned him down. The show was eventually picked up by the WB, a young network looking for new programming at the time. It immediately rose to prominence as one of the network's most popular shows. Buffy had a major impact on pop culture and opened the way for female-led supernatural dramas in the years that followed. CSI. Crime Scene Investigation. 2000-2015. CBS. An American television network. Is known for a bevy of police procedurals. And it all started when they decided to give a forensic crime drama called CSI. Crime Scene Investigation ago. Despite the fact that it was tied to big-name Hollywood producer Jerry Bruckheimer, ABC, NBC, and Fox all passed on the pilot. They all assumed that the investigating process and police language would be too much for the general public to comprehend. CSI became an international blockbuster hit during its development at CBS, garnering the title of the most-watched show in the world six times over its 15-year run and generating four successful spin-off series. Mad Men. 2007-2015 Network execs weren't immediately persuaded on Mad Men's retro look and depiction of 1960s America for a show about advertising. The project was first presented to HBO but it was turned down after the network couldn't convince David Chase, the creator of The Sopranos and Wiener's former boss, to executive produce. A second pitch, this time to Showtime, was similarly a flop. Fortunately, executives at AMC, a cable channel known for theatrical films at the time, took a significant risk on Wiener, ordering the show as the network's first original drama series, Mad Men was a critical and commercial success for AMC, winning four Emmys in a row for Outstanding Drama Series. South Park. 1997 to present. It should come as no surprise that South Park was met with a lot of backlash on its way to the small screen. However, it's worth noting that the now-defunct animated series wasn't rejected because of its notoriously foul-mouthed humor. No. It turns out that Fox and MTV execs were wary of the kid protagonist's ability to appeal to a more mature audience. However, Comedy Central was unconcerned with this, as the show was picked up for a series order shortly after co-creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone presented their concept. South Park was an instant hit and it is credited with propelling Comedy Central to the forefront of cable television. Breaking Bad. 2008-2013 AMC's executives deserve more than a pat on the shoulder for producing some fantastic television shows, even when their competitors passed them up. Vince Gilligan, the show's creator, pitched it to numerous networks, including HBO, and it became one of the best shows of all time. The premium cable network passed on it since they already had anti-hero leads on The Sopranos and The Wire, but they would come to regret it as Walter White twisted his way into the hearts of audiences and critics alike. Of course, Breaking Bad was a huge hit with record-breaking ratings. 
It also won numerous honors and set a Guinness World Record for being the most critically acclaimed show of all time. The Walking Dead 2010 to 2022 The Big Four Networks ABC NBC CBS and Fox were surprised to receive this post-apocalyptic zombie survival show with a lukewarm welcome. TNT and FX, two smaller cable stations, were also approved. The sheer level of violence and gore featured on the show turned off most networks right away. It didn't help matters that showrunner Frank Darabont need a huge budget to pull it off. Then came AMC, who swooped in to save the day once more. The cable network was correct to embrace the savage violence, since it resulted in a phenomenal, long-running ratings hit that spawned many spin-offs. Stranger Things, 2016 to present. It appears that the more times a show gets rejected by networks, the more likely it is to become a smash. While it may not always be the case, this immensely popular sci-fi horror series certainly proves that. Stranger Things was reportedly sold to a staggering 15 to 20 networks, but all of them turned it down because executives were apprehensive about a cast of young kids heading the show. Many people speculated that it would revolve around Chief Hopper's inquiry. Thankfully, the brothers stayed firm and were able to secure a meeting with Netflix, who promptly ordered the show for a series. Stranger Things went on to break streaming records and earn a passionate fanbase. The Queen's Gambit, 2020 Over the span of three decades, The Queen's Gambit was turned down by various TV executives in what can only be described as a novice maneuver. In 1992, Series co-creator Alan Scott bought the TV rights to the fictional chess drama novel with the intention of adapting it into a film. He developed the plot into a miniseries once those plans fell through. He also tried unsuccessfully to pitch it to a number of networks. Netflix made the wise decision to resurrect the show from the abyss of development purgatory in 2019. The decision put the rival networks on notice as The Queen's Gambit swiftly became Netflix's most-watched scripted miniseries. The Sopranos, 1999-2007 HBO made the decision of a lifetime when it took up this hit criminal thriller about a threatening mob lord and his tangled familial relationships, even though they may still regret turning down Breaking Bad. The Sopranos was a watershed moment in pop culture, reviving the TV show's narrative structure and defying all assumptions of what a series should be. Its ascension to the top was not without setbacks, as the show was rejected by CBS executives. It wasn't so much that they didn't like the concept of a terrible gangster going to treatment as it was that they didn't like the idea of a terrifying gangster going to therapy. We can't imagine the program without the tight connection between Tony and Dr. Melfi, so it's a good thing HBO didn't mind. Squid Game, 2021 Huang Dong-hyuk, the creator of this enormously popular survivalist drama series, was inspired by real challenges he suffered early in his career. As a result of his struggles, he developed a show that brilliantly challenged capitalism and class injustice. It was one thing to write the show and another to get it produced. Huang had a rough 10-year journey that included numerous rejections from Korean production companies. Huang ultimately attracted Netflix's notice, and the streaming service wisely decided to bring up the show. They expected it to be a hit in Korea and other Asian countries. But the program went on to shatter global records, much to their astonishment. Squid Game is Netflix's most-watched series of all time, bringing in over $900 million in revenue for the streaming service. Which of these rejected shows turned out to be your favorite? Please tell us in the comments section below. 
Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates about your favorite celebrities and movies.